it's a really amazing experience for an audience to see this story. I can't think of another example where you would get to see that. It's a once in a lifetime chance to see the story of this character Figaro over three evenings. He's a young bachelor in the first opera, he's getting married in the second, and in the third he's getting a divorce. I've sung Le Notte di Figaro many times, and this is by far one of the most fun, active, and comic productions I've done. And I think if you're looking for an opera with, with, which has beautiful music, um, but also an incredible sense of, of, of comedy, you will be very happy with uh, Le Notte di Figaro. Then the divorce, Figaro realizes that he has to survive and the way that he knows to survive is to cut hair. He's a barber. So he goes back to his barber days and Susanna does what she can do which is sing and she ends up singing in a cabaret and she meets of course her old pal Carabino who's in a very very different disguise. This is not a difficult crazy modern opera. This is a piece that any music lover can enjoy. But I think it's just very intriguing to encounter, for example, Carabina's son by the Countess. And in a way, it's like a political thriller uh, divorce, but it's also charming and beautiful and at the end, but actually rather touching. Mm -hmm.